everything. Hey guys, so if you're watching this video, you're having trouble with your Twitch API. Essentially what happened was Twitch updated their API and now was requiring the client ID header. So what you'll see in this video is how to one, get your client ID, because it took me about 20 minutes to find that out. And I'll walk you through that process about where to go, what links and everything. And then two, an example of how you would change a git JSON in the uh, Twitch API that you may be using in the past, such as for the Twitch API free code camp project, which uh, this is kind of dedicated to, into the Ajax call that you'll need to use it for. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, guys, so by popular demand, people have been asking me how to fix their URLs in the Twitch JSON API. Now, this is going to be a quick video showcasing how to fix the URL, and I'll show you one example of what you'll need to do. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to this web page. It'll really help walk you through it. Um, it's a blog on Twitch I came across, but you'll need to go to the page, this page right here. Um, twitch.tv slash settings slash connections and go down to the bottom here and you're going to see this register your application the reason that we're doing this is you basically need to be able to get a client ID so that you can get your your uh, your client ID so you can add it to your URL what you'll do here is you'll go ahead and put in your application name your redirect URI I just put codepin.io and then the application category. Once you choose that, you can go. We'll go put uh, test one code pin.io. We'll go ahead and put other, and maybe we'll put YouTube or something like that. And you'll see it will register. So, uh, oh, of course, you got to put an apps absolute http slash code pin. There we go. Uh, test over 9,000 so there we go then you'll get this client ID you're gonna need to copy this client ID and then there's a client secret and everything else there's a couple ways to change this we're using jQuery because it's pretty simple and that's what we're used to um, so let's go ahead and pull this up right here uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna I already fixed one but uh we'll go ahead and fix this one so show you how to fix this one so originally what we had we're in our code pin here by the way and oops did I not uncomment everything let's see here what did I not uncomment getting an unrelated error I'll come back to that um, so you'll see right here originally we were using git json which seemed fine at first. So what we need to do is this get JSON, there's no way to actually apply the header. So which is what we're going to need to do. We need to apply a client ID and our, that client ID basically says that our account is used is being used to call this API call. So we're going to go ahead and cop just comment this out. And what we're going to do is input and I'll type it out piece by piece an Ajax call. Uh, git JSON is basically a shorthand for Ajax, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and pass in a couple parameters. First thing, we're going to pass in this object like we normally would. And then we're going to pass in a function. Excuse me, uh, we're going to pass in some parameters like so. So a little bit different. So the type refers to what type of call we're doing. In this case, we're doing a git call. My keyboard is, I think, dying, so my keys are off a little bit. So we're doing a git call, and flux just turned on. Let's go ahead and turn that off real quick. Sorry about that, guys. So then, comma, the URL. Now, if you remember before, we had this API Twitch URL like so. Go ahead and put that in there. So that's our URL. Then we need to put in our header. Now this is the thing that's slightly different. Now what's our header? Our header in this case is going to be in quotes client dash ID. And remember that password we just got. We're going to throw it in there. 
And I believe this one should work just fine like so. There's the old client ID. And then finally, we're calling this success. Now on success, it's gonna run a function that does something with our data. And then we just go ahead like so. And uh, in here is basically where we put our logic. In uh, my example, we uh, we check to see if the stream is online or not. And we can go ahead and console dot log data one, and everything should be working. Let's see where we messed up. Comma. We have our header. We have our type. We have our header. Ajax. Us. Interesting. So somewhere along here, I made a slight mistake. Oh, headers. I believe that will fix it. Let's go and refresh this page real quick. God, I hope this. So somehow we broke something. This is very interesting. Oh, I see right here. We didn't comment this last part out right here. There we go. Sorry, that was, that was my little error right there. So our code here is correct. And you'll see now we're getting the correct call. So you have to change all your git JSONs to these Ajax calls. They're still going to be git calls. The, per, the URL, you can go ahead and get rid of the callback function, I believe. I haven't tested this on all of them. And then you need to pass in your client ID. Once you do that, you'll fix your Twitch API calls. So if you guys found this helpful, if I ever do an update to this, I'll, I'll uh, showcase how to update the other ones. There's about three or four uh, API calls. So you're going to have to change this Git JSON if you followed my example. You're going to have to change this Git JSON. And I believe there's one more. And then finally, this Git JSON as well. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, definitely send it uh, to somebody else and support me on Patreon. Thank you to those of you that do. See you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Definitely check them out at devmountain.com. If you're looking for a boot camp that's in front-end development, iOS, or UX, go ahead and give them a shot. Tuition includes housing, so you can get up and go and fully immerse yourself in the program. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.